Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, Wolf of the Wild. My name is Holly, and today we are doing kind of like a seed haul, which is uh, really, really cute. I had one of my subscribers suggest this, and uh, yeah, I'm totally down. I also wanna do a video on what I'm growing behind me, so that will probably be another video in the future, and some of the seeds that I have been using, um, and um, getting ready for plants outside. So we're just gonna go over my little collection here. It's not that big. I wish it were bigger, but because of COVID-19 and being self-isolated and garden centers not really being open, I managed to get a few things basically right before stuff closed, but uh, this is all I've got. So I'm gonna try my best to work with this while and there, there's the sun, oh my gosh. <laughs> Work with this while uh, I can and start growing things as soon as the last frost has passed. I, uh, I made a really terrible life decision a few days ago <laughs> and I got a little bit too excited and I planted some of my seedlings outside and I kid you not, the next day it was below zero. Uh, for three days in a row at night, which hadn't been below zero for what, maybe like a solid two weeks? Yeah, I got a little bit too trigger happy and thought my plants would be fine and they're not. So I'm gonna concentrate on growing some more seedlings and make sure everything stays inside. Again, my sunroom is also delayed because of everything going on and that is not here yet. So I'm kind of forced to be in this little area and try to get as much sun as possible. Unfortunately, there's only one window here, so that's why I do have all these awesome click and grows, which I also did a video on. I will uh, put that in the tags above. But yeah, we're just gonna kinda get into this and what I have. And that's, that's just this video, so yeah. I'm gonna start with the click and grow, guys. I have some mini tomato basil and green lettuce. I have a lot of the basil still because honestly, if you can kind of see over there, it grows um, really well. And, uh, but of course, I don't really need basil all that much. So we have that and we also have some mini tomatoes growing, which is really awesome. And the green lettuce as well. Over there looking awesome, it's blurry, I'm sorry. So yeah, those are, um, the click and grow seeds, these guys are really cool because you just plop them in the system and uh, you just water them and they're good to go. So those are really awesome. I haven't gotten any extras from their site. So maybe I will in the future, which would be really, really cool. Next, I have some broccoli. I don't know why I opened both of these packs. This is half the reason why I wanted to do this video because it would help me organize everything. So I have broccoli over here. I have arugula, which I love so much. Arugula is easily one of my favorites. And then I have Swiss chard. Yes, okay, so we have Swiss chard. I have cabbage. I have some chives, which I've already opened, and those guys are perennial, so they're really, really awesome. Here I have peppermint and just herb mint, slightly different variations. And I've got cabbage, not cabbage, oh my gosh. I've got spinach, rutabaga, carrots, a spicy Italian like uh, lettuce mixture, which is really cool. We got dill, which I'm super excited to start growing. Never grown dill before. We have rosemary, broccoli, rapini, which I love. And then down here, we've got basil, two types of basil, we got Thai basil and sweet basil, and I really love, again, growing basil, so that's really exciting. Over here, these guys, which are next, are um, organic seeds from a place called Urban Harvest, which is uh, just inside Toronto, and I had these mailed to me, which is awesome. I grew a lot of these last year in my skid planters in their rows, and it was really awesome. I love these guys, so I have a bunch. I have um, curled kale, blue curled scotch kale, and giant red mustard, early mizuna, and tender green mustard. Mustards and kales are easily some of my favorite things to grow, and they're cold hardy, and they're just really awesome for salads, obviously, and they just keep growing. And you can grow them and pick them when they're like baby, or 
you can let them get a little bigger and uh, they're also really good and tasty. So I'm excited to hopefully try to get more seeds from this place called Urban Harvest. Other than that, again, it's click and grow or these guys are mostly from Lowe's to be honest. Next we have chamomile, which is easily one of my favorite teas. I love it so much. We have some flower seeds here next. I have amaranth, columbine, lupin. We have butterfly milkweed and echinacea. And these were some of the flowers that I planted outside a little too soon. So I definitely wasted some of those seeds, but that is totally okay. In these guys, I actually have a lot of either bags that burst like this broccoli or I have seeds and you kind of, mm, let me bring it over here. So I have seeds from plants that I grew last year. So I actually don't know if these guys are good. These are purple beauty. Um, they're a uh, pepper. We have tomato, maybe they work. We don't know. I actually think these guys do. We have peas, climbing vine, bush beans, I have cucumbers, oh, red, yellow peppers, and mixed colored peppers. I harvested all of these from peppers last year, just like I did the tomatoes, um, but I don't think these guys are good. So I'm gonna test a few more of those. I literally just planted new ones in the click and grow system, so we'll see how that goes. And I also have some chili pepper seeds that I also harvested from a plant. I have to learn a little bit more on how to harvest um, seedlings from certain plants because it's like hit or miss for me. So I've got to I've got to do my YouTube uh, learning there. So yeah, if you guys have any good suggestions on gardening channels, please let me know. I have a few that I watch, but I would love more. Then over here I have some sprouting seeds. So I've got a sandwich booster sprouting mix, which is really really cool. And then I have a crunchy bean mix, which is like lentils and peas. And then I've got a bunch of organic seeds. We have a huge thing of dill, which I mostly use for um, flavoring my cucumbers in the fall. And then I have another microgreen seed three-part salad sprout mix. And all of these guys I am using for these over here. I've just started to work on sprouting some things, so that's really awesome. Hopefully that is going well, we shall see. So yeah, that's basically it for my collection. I'll definitely kind of go over things that are growing in this area. Like this guy, for example, he's one of the little um, click and grow tomato plants. I think he's doing quite well. He, uh, he's got some cute little tomatoes on him. I uh, replanted him in this container right here since I wanted space to grow more. But uh, yeah, we got lots of plants over there. All right, so that is all my seeds and everything that I have here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I will have lots more gardening and uh, house content coming up now that I'm able to uh, be outside and it's not snowing. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye. Good.